Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, so today I'm going to try to take you through uh, the assignment that I kind of gave you yesterday, uh, but I just want to show you some things that I think may hopefully will help you, um, and, and then we can go from there. Uh, so first thing I want to show you is, uh, let me just show you what I gathered, because I'm going to, I'm not, I haven't, for, uh, haven't done this yet, so you're going to watch me kind of stumble through this. Uh, so I found this guy, uh, which I'm going to use probably. Uh, I got this stick because I feel like these parts and pieces, and there's several of them, will uh, make for some good legs potentially. Uh, so that's why I chose that. Um, I got this guy because I think I'm going to use some of these uh, flower petals and potentially some of these... Uh, I don't know if they're called pistols or stamen, whatever. I'm not a science teacher. Um, and then, so then I looked at the image, which I'll show you in just a second, and I decided that uh, what, I dis what I narrowed my options down on, I needed some more materials. So I went back outside, and I got some of these, like, yellow-white blades of grass, and I got uh, some of these guys. They just have some smaller leaves that I think I'll be using, um, and then some potentially some sticks and things that will make uh, you know legs and other body parts. So those are my materials. Let me show you the image that I'm going to try to recreate. Uh, so I decided uh, I'd looked at several others, and then I thought, you know what, I want to try to I want to challenge myself. So so this is where I'm gonna this is where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna attempt. To do this guy um, so I'm going to try to set up my screen now so that you can see both and it's also for me so that I can see both that image and then you guys will be able to see kind of my tabletop so you can see um, you know what I'm gonna try to recreate um, re so let me get my camera set up so you guys can see that uh, should just take a second and now you'll be able to see my desktop, hopefully. Yep, all right. So you can see I've got my desktop. Um, there's some water on here. This is from one of the flowers that I cut. Uh, before I begin doing this work, I wanna think about how I'm gonna photograph it. And if I was to build my, cre my insect right here, uh, then I, I probably wouldn't be able to have a nice clean photograph. I wanna think kind of in the same way that uh, Laku uh, thinks when he makes his pieces. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a sheet of paper out um, that I can work on. So I've got one here. I'm gonna set this out. And then uh, let's see, scoot my camera back just a little bit. All right. So I've got I'm gonna do all my work on this piece of paper, and then hopefully I can either photograph it right here, or I can move this piece of paper if I need to. Uh, so let's go back. I'm gonna. Again, I, I know that we're kind of sharing screen, but I think that this is kind of the best way to do this. So I can see my image now, and you're going to see how I start thinking about how I start building it. So uh, I'm thinking about what Raku said in the interview, and one of the things he pointed out was like thinking about the silhouette of the piece. So I'm thinking about that. I'm also, right now, as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about, uh, you know, what will be the last things that I put on and what will be the first things. So in my mind, looking at this piece, I feel like these legs uh, and, and possibly these uh, horns or uh, jaws, whatever they, they are, those will be the first things that I need to uh, apply or place. So uh, I'm going to, I think, begin doing that. So I'll show you try to keep it in the view as I'm doing it. I'm going to start with this guy. Uh, I'm going to start with, I've got a couple of these pieces. And then I'm also going to, I'm going to use these little pieces of grass. Um, and I want to think about symmetry. I want to think about kind of how these things are laying currently, uh, whether I want to try to adjust them. Um, so yeah, so I'm just kind of looking at those things. Uh, I'm just going to lay all these pieces out. And I'm thinking, based on what I'm seeing here, that I'm going to go with these, I'm going to set these guys aside for a second. I'm going to go with these, um, 
these larger pieces uh, of the grass, so the blades of grass. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut them so that they fit and kind of start to create that shape that I want. Um, so I know I'm going to probably place some things on top of these guys. And again, this is where, uh, you know, Raku said uh, sometimes he uses tape just to kind of help him be more effective and efficient. So I'm going to get some scissors. I'm going to cut this uh, just to start here. thinking about my placement. And I know that I want these guys to curve a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of set them up in this way. And again, I'm thinking about my composition, so I want these to be a little bit further up on my piece of paper, so I'm gonna place them. Uh, I do have, I didn't mention this before, but I do have a, a set of tweezers here that I'll probably be using. Um, and then I just got this, this uh, pair of scissors here. Uh, so, all right, gonna, now I'm gonna start thinking about, so I actually had done before, I had started to kind of find some leg shapes uh, with some of the earlier work that I was doing. So just going to kind of lay those out so you can see those. And again, I was just kind of trying to find, uh, you know, some pieces that were very similar to each other that uh, potentially I could use for these leg shapes. So I've got a couple pieces here that I had kind of laid out. So, um, yep, so I might continue and use these guys. Some of them I think will work for what I'm trying to uh, accomplish. Um, yeah, so let's remove that. And I'm just going to start kind of laying some things out. So I've got, let's see, I'm going to make this guy here, this guy over here. And as I'm laying these pieces out, I'm thinking about, you know, what's going to cover them? Uh, what will they look like kind of as they get covered? Uh, which I think that'll work. Uh, I'm gonna place. So these guys, these guys down here are a little bit thicker, so I'm going to um, kind of place them down here at what I what I perceive as like the the abdomen of the guy, uh, knowing that I'm gonna probably add on to these two uh, some legs that extend out further here, uh, and then I think I'm gonna use these guys in here. That feels right. So just kind of laying these out in a way that feels uh, kind of close to what I'm looking at. That's really what I'm thinking about right now. Um, I'm So I am going to make some adjustments. Uh, as an artist, uh, I do want to um, kind of make my own version of this. You don't have to try to copy it exactly. Um, so I'm going to tweak a couple of things. One of the things I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm going to cut a little bit of this tape and I'll show you how I'm going to go about using it. So I'm going to cut just a small piece of this tape. I'm going to roll it long lengthwise onto itself. Uh, so what I'm going to end up making here are a bunch of uh, tiny rolls of tape really is what this is. So then I'm going to cut a piece off. I'm just looking at these uh, horns or mandibles, whatever whatever you think they might be. Uh, and I just want the, these to kind of sit down for me. So I'm putting a tiny piece of tape on the back of this. And then I'm going to see if I can uh, kind of you know, force that guy into this shape just a little bit. And you can see what's kind of there. Uh, I'll cut another piece of this blue tape. So another small piece. Like I said, these are just kind of tiny little tape rolls. You can see how small it is. Uh, and then I'm going to, again, just kind of place this on the back of this leaf so that I don't have to worry about this leaf moving on me. Uh, real important when you're doing something like this that you, um, you don't want the tape to be visible. So you don't want, you know, you don't want to be able to see any of the things that you've done that are making the magic happen. So as long as your tape is invisible, then you should be good. 
Uh, I have decided, so for the abdomen portion, uh, which I think... Actually, there's some wings that I'm going to create, and then there also is an abdomen portion. So for the wings, I'm going to use these leaves. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time kind of cutting off, uh, you know, cutting some of these leaves free. Uh, and I might choose, let's see, so one thing you can, again, I'm just kind of experimenting here. So I'm going to see if I can just kind of pull these leaves off instead of having to cut them. It looks like I can. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm doing that thing that uh, Laku talked about in the interview, which is um, just kind of experimenting. So like as I'm pulling these leaves off, in my mind I'm wondering, uh, what does the backside of it look like? Is it a different green color? Would that might, might be uh, interesting to use somewhere? Uh, and then I'm gonna just kind of start to kind of lay these guys out based on their size, I think. So you can see. Um, and I'm gonna, so here, so here's a tiny little piece that I'm noticing will probably work well uh, for one of these kind of foot uh, pieces. So I'm just gonna set that aside and I will potentially use it later. But I, you know, just kind of pay attention as you're doing this because you might find some pieces that you wanna use in another place. So just kind of peel this guy off. I'm gonna peel these leaves, saving the leaves. Uh, and this probably is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I might get to a place with this video. I'm not so interested in editing videos, so I might, uh, you know, uh, after a certain point I might stop when I feel like you've kind of got the grasp of what I'm going for. And then, uh, so there's another little fall, small foot section. Uh, and then I could just show you the finished picture kind of as it's done. We'll see. We'll see. Some of you might be interested in watching the whole process. Uh, some of you, maybe not so much. I guess that's why uh, why we have fast forward. So, uh, all right, so peeling some more leaves, and I'm gonna now. I'm gonna once I've got a decent amount kind of set up here. They're good sizes. I'm gonna start to uh, kind of lay these guys out um, to create those. If you're looking, so I'm gonna lay out these under wings, whatever these things are. I think this is what the creature actually flies with. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to use these leaves for to kind of create those. Um, and what I was saying, I think I mentioned it earlier, uh, for the, the abdomen, for this lower section that's kind of that light green there, I'm going to use uh, some of these pink flower petals, I think. So I'm going to kind of take apart one of these flowers in a second and then use those flower petals. All right, so I'm going to kind of start to build the, the wing shape. And I know, so this might be a time when I, in fact, I'm going to, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to start using these tweezers. So hopefully I can just kind of place these maybe more quickly. We'll see. So I'm uh, just turning that so they're all kind of facing the same direction. Um, yeah, remember, uh, we're just kind of looking at the silhouette right now. So I'm just kind of looking, as I'm placing each one of these, I'm um, just kind of thinking about what shape are they helping to create? So I'm gonna to continue to do that. I could probably, so these guys are standing up a little bit in a way that's kind of funky. I could cut off probably some of the end of that, uh, just see if you can see it, that little bit of a stem that comes off the leaf and that might help me. But I kind of think that what I'm doing right now seems to be working. So you can see I'm just still placing these leaves and trying to create that, that wing shape. I kind of like, so as I'm looking at kind of the overall shape and the overall uh, construction of this piece, I I'm feeling, I feel pretty good about it and kind of the direction that it's going. Uh, I can see I'm gonna need a lot more leaves. In fact, I might have to uh, make a trip back outside to collect more so that I can create these. Um, so one other thing that I'm, I'm thinking about just now as I'm doing this work is, if you recall uh, in the interview, he said that a lot of times this feels like a meditative practice. Um, as I'm picking up these tiny individual leaves and kind of creating this shape, uh, I can see how that, that, you know. If you find that what you're doing as you're creating these pieces is causing you stress, then I would say take a break. 
this should be really kind of a this should be chilling out as far as I'm concerned. I think it's you know I think it's kind of fun. Um, so there you can see I'm just very carefully placing that leaf. I'm peeling off just a few more now, so I can kind of finish that wing shape so that you can start to see, uh, you know, kind of what it is that I'm talking about, what it is that we're going to create here. Uh, so that's, that's a good shape. Gently place some of these guys. I'm going to cut off just a tiny little bit of that uh, the stem of this leaf. Use my tweezers to try to really gently just kind of place this guy. And you can see it didn't quite work. This is almost like, it feels a little bit like a game of Jenga. <laughs> uh, so there I've got kind of the wing shape. As I'm looking at it in on the image on the screen, I can see there's like a little hole there that I would probably want to address. Uh, I can also see it looks like my leg has shifted just a tiny bit, but I think I'm gonna move forward. So uh, I've got this bunch of flowers here. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna kind of reach in here uh, and just kind of pull one of these guys out. So I've got this individual flower now. Uh, and now again, I'm gonna just kind of take it apart, I think. Um, which I, I haven't, I don't remember the last time I've done something like this. Um, so I'm just gonna, as I'm looking at it, it seems like this is made up of, oh wow. So I thought that each one of these was a separate petal, but as I'm kind of looking to take this apart, it's all one thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this. Uh, and I kind of, I think I want this larger section that's on the top half. So I'm just going to cut, let's see if I can do it. Just right down the center uh, until I get all the way to that back end. And I think what's going to happen, now I'm going to cut from the other side. I'm just going to cut the, uh, essentially I'm cutting the stem of this in half. Let's see if that'll work. Like, uh, like we said in the interview, it's all kind of an experiment. So you see I've kind of opened this flower up. And I have a feeling I'm going to try it. If I just pull, that I can kind of peel this guy into two separate pieces. So, uh, yeah, so I've done that got these two kind of separate pieces and I just want to kind of study them and see if there's you know if what I have here will work uh, and I'm looking I think I'm gonna probably take it apart just a little bit more so I'm gonna pull these guys kind of set that aside uh, and I've got this you know kind of a unique shape here uh, so again I'm just gonna uh, I think I'm gonna cut this Okay, so I kind of like, so I'm looking at these two shapes that I have that I've just kind of created. I kind of like this one. So I'm just going to set that down there and just kind of see what it looks like. And yeah, I, I kind of I think that's kind of nice, actually. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to cut this a little bit more so that I can use this as well. So I'm just going to... Um, Cutting off just a little bit here, and I'm going to take this piece that I just cut and see if I can lay that out there. Use my tweezers for just a second. Just try to adjust that. Uh, yeah, so I think that's working. Um, so just going to peel this off. And uh, I'm going to cut this again. So just like I just did, I'm going to cut it right along here. And now I've got some more pieces that I think I can use. Um, so just kind of eyeballing this and deciding. Yeah, just kind of place that guy right there. I noticed that I bumped my leg, so I'm just going to try to adjust that. Um, but yeah, just making some tiny adjustments and yeah so feel pretty good about that uh, I still have a lot more work to do as you can see uh, I'm actually gonna stop the video here I'm gonna make a second part so you don't have to watch this whole process I'm gonna jump ahead just a little bit uh, but yeah this gives you an idea kind of 
uh, of how I'm thinking about this. You know, this one little piece. Yeah. So just kind of creating the abdomen of this guy over those wings. Um, when you when I create start the video again, you'll find I've probably created this other wing, and I'll talk about how to finish the head and how to finish the legs. But thanks for watching. Uh, hope this was helpful. Stop.